goes to school. Morris the moose wanted candy. He went to the wrong store. The man in the store said, we don't sell candy. Can't you read? Then he showed Morris the candy store. The man in the candy store said, what would you like? Morris looked at the candy. He liked the gumdrops. He said, give me some of those. The man said, they are one for a penny. How much money do you have? Morris looked. He had six pennies. I have four pennies, he said. The man laughed. You have six. Can't you count? Don't you go to school? Morris asked. What is school? The man said, I'll show you. But first, here are six gumdrops. They are one for a penny. And you have six pennies. Then the man took Morris to school. The children said, oh look, a real mo moose. The teacher said, hello, my name is Miss Fine. The man said, he never went to school. Morris could not say anything. His mouth was full of gumdrops. Morris swallowed the gumdrops. Then he said, my name is Morris the Moose. I want to learn to count. I want to learn to read, too. I like candy. Miss Fine said, hello, Morris. Welcome to our class. Please sit at a desk. Morris tried, but he didn't fit. We will now study. Oh, he had to sit on the top on top of the desk. We will now study the alphabet, said Miss Fine. This is an A, this is a B. Morris hid under the desk. He yelled, where is the B? I'm afraid of bees, they stink. Miss Fine said, I meant the letter B, this one here, it doesn't sting. Then Miss Fine said, and next there's C. I, oh, I like the C, Morris said. I love to swim. No, no, said Miss Fine. I meant the letter C, this one here. And next, Miss Fine said, there's D and E and F, G, H, I. Morris yelled, I have an I. I have two of them. Miss Fine said, I meant the letter I. Morris, please don't interrupt again. Morris didn't, Morris couldn't, Morris wasn't there. He had to leave the room. One door said boys, one door said girls, and Morris couldn't read yet. He opened the wrong door. A girl cried, stop, you can't come in here. This is for girls, the other one is for the boys. Morris told Miss Fine, there's no door for a moose. Miss Fine put up a sign, boys and moose. When Morris came back, Miss Fine said, now we will spell. Cat is spelled C-A-T. Dog is spelled D-O-G. Morris looked sad. What is the matter, Morris? Asked Miss Fine. Morris said, you didn't spell moose. Can anyone spell moose? Asked Miss Fine. A boy said, M-O-S-E. A girl said, no, no. It is M-O-O-C-E. You are both wrong, said Miss Fine. It is spelled M-O-O-C-S-E. C. -E. C. Oh, I see. Morris said, oh, I am hard to spell. Miss Vine said, I think it is time for lunch. The children opened their lunch boxes. Some of them had cheese sandwiches. Some had cream cheese and jelly sandwiches. Some had hamburgers. Each of them had a piece of fruit, but Morris had nothing. He ate lunch anyway. After lunch, the children played. Some played ball and some jumped rope. Morris did both at the same time. Miss Fine said, children, now it is time to rest. The children rested on their desk. Morris tried, but he was too big. Miss Fine let him use her desk. When rest time was over, Miss Fine said, wake up, wake up, it is time to finger paint. Morris said, I will hoof paint. You can tell which painting you did. Miss Fine said, now we will study arithmetic. Medic. Who would like to count? A boy counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 
No, no, said Miss Vine. Who knows what comes after eat? Moore said, I know, bedtime. <sighs> Nine is the answer, said Miss Vine. Nine comes after eight. Who knows what comes after nine? A girl counted on her fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, she said. Ten comes after nine. Miss Fine said, that's right. Morris looked sad. What is the matter, Morris? asked Miss Fine. Morris held up his hose. I can only count to four, he said. Miss Fine said, you can count higher than that. I'll show you. She counted on Morris's hooves. One, two, three, four. Then she counted on Morris's antlers. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Morris said, I like to count. I will never wear a hat. Miss Fine said, now I think it is a time to sing a song. What is a song, Morris asked. Miss Fine said, I will show you. She sang, I've been working on the railroad. What is a railroad, Morris asked. Railroad has tracks, said Miss Fine. They look like this. Oh, I know what tracks are, Morris said. Firemen climb them. No, no, said Miss Fine. Firemen climb ladders. Ladders go up like this. Morris said, let's sing another song. I'm learning a lot, Miss Fine said. No, we just have time for a game. Let's play make believe. The girl said, I am a tree. The boy said, I am a monkey. Another boy said, I am a moose. Morris and the children laughed. Morris went to the coat closet. He said, I am a coat, cloak, coat closet. The children laughed again. Miss Fine laughed too. Then the school bell rang. Morris asked, is that the ice cream man? Miss Fine said, no, it is time to go home. Morris gave the children their coat. The children and Morris said, goodbye, Miss Fine. Miss Fine said, I'll see you all tomorrow. Morris ran to the forest. He took money from his hiding place. He wanted a candy. This time he went to the right store. He said, hello, I want some gum drugs. Drops, please. The man said, hello, they are one for a penny. How much money do you have? Morris looked. He had five pennies. I have five pennies, he said. Give me five gumdrops, please. The man gave Morris the gumdrops. He said, you have learned arithmetic. What else have you learned in school? Morris said, I learned how to hook it. I learned how to spell moose. I learned how to be a clothes closet. And I learned all the numbers in the alphabet. The man said, you mean all the letters, don't you? Morris wanted to say yes. Morris tried to say yes, but Morris couldn't. His mouth was full of gumdrops. D, end.